Hello, my name is Ikello Herod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory. And shout out to my boy Corey Ostman. He uh, lives over in America with me, and he creates great prompts for AI. And what I did was I took a great prompt of his and took some of my Future Fiction Factory know how and created a dynamic prompt that now takes his prompt that he has and creates anything you can with this prompt. I can't explain to you how excited I am to introduce you to Corey's prompt and to my new framework that I built around his prompt. Here's his prompt. This is easy. You are a science fiction writer when presented with a premise, use the following outline. And then it you, it goes through the hero's journey. It goes through every premise, everything that you have to do, encourages the hero to try again. And what, I, what I did was I took all of this information and I made it framework. Now, this is a great, great, great prompt. This is an, an absolutely fabulous prompt, but what I thought of immediately when I saw it was how is it, pos is it possible to mm, apply this to other outlines so that we can use those other outlines in dynamic ways? Like how do I get most of this information from chapter to chapter? And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I remember Elizabeth Ann West had this video on Future Fiction Academy where they were using chapter types. So what I did was I decided I would use chapter types as my bedrock layer for each one of the chapters instead of using Corey's specific premise inside of each chapter, I decided I wanted to use this as a basis for a larger story. This is what I mean. Right behind me, right over here, you see that each one of these uh, chapters has something going on in it. Well, I wanted a much more controllable way to do it. Like I said, I decided to go with chapter types. And with each genre, with each thing, there's a different type of chapter. So I wanted to create a framework that would tie all of this together in a way that you could just give them a premise and give them the type of outline you would like. So you say, save the cat, okay? I specified 37 chapters, but what you could do, reprompt it to make the chapters any other number of chapters that you want. Now we've gotten that straight. We've gotten all of that stuff taken care of. All we have to do is create a prompt that will generate all of these different things. And so what I did was I, in a very convoluted way here said, now that we've established it, can you generate this outline? I would like to you to treat it as a framework. I want to apply the same example to other types of outlines other than the hero's journey. Give me a list of 10 different types of outlines. And then he did something very interesting. It gave me outlines four different types of novels, not necessarily for the hero's journey or save the cat or any of those other types of things. It actually just gave me mystery outlines, romantic subplot outlines, political thriller outlines. I was like, can you really do this? So this is definitely something that we should go back to and look at specifically so that we could see whether or not we could actually make specific outlines to heist films or coming of age or spy thrillers. So we will look back at that. Look at this dystopia. And then I tried to give it, get it to get to save the cat or something like that. It wouldn't do it. It kept going to historical science, uh, sci-fi, uh, space opera, uh, horror outline, that sort of stuff. Right. Okay, so it does all of this stuff. And then I said, when I asked for different types of outlines, I, was, I wasn't expecting you to list them out by genre. I was more expecting you to list them out by type. The hero's journey is a type of outline. Save the cat is another type of outline. Can you give me 10 examples of these? Certainly, and then it gives me all of the ones that I actually wanted, right? And Snowflake, Save the Cat, Seven Point, 
Dan, uh, Dan Harmon, uh, Freytag, the mice quotient, the, the whole nine yards. Now, let's create the framework. Your assignment is to create a framework. Uh, now, I'm. this is what happens when you prompt, okay? When you're prompting and you aren't quite sure how you want to get to the prompt, you sometimes fatten it up with a lot of extra information. It probably didn't need all of the information, but you fatten it up anyway. It says, now let's create the framework. Your assignment is to create a prompt that when fed to another large language model, induces it to create a outline based on whatever outline structure is given. Let's uh, keep it at 37 chapters. Use all of the appropriate chapter types and do not shy away from duplicating chapters inside of whatever the outline that you are assigned to generate. Remember, you're using whatever the prompt gives you as the basis for whatever outline you are to build. So if, you, if there is a premise or a scenario or some ty other type of genre or something like that, then expect to be given an outline type and then use the outline type to, in combination with the 37 chapters and the premise scenario and genre to create the 37 chapters. If you understand, please respond with, and I put ellipses, but it just said, I understand. Create the prompt, please. And then it created a prompt so that I could build this framework. You are given the task of to create a 37 chapter outline for a story based on the following information. Premise scenario genre, insert specific premise scenario genre here, outline structure, all of that stuff. Insert specific outline structures here, such as hero's journey, three act structure, save the cat, etc. Please use the assigned outline structure to build the 37 chapters and do not hesitate to duplicate chapter types within the outline as needed. Here's what you need to consider. Introduction, one, the introduction. How does the story begin? What are your key elements to the set uh, to set the scene? Two, conflict. What are the main challenges, obstacles, or conflicts that the character faces? Resolution. How does the story conclude? What is the final outcome of the characters and the world they inhabit? Please follow the specific outline structure closely and adapt it into a comprehensive 37 chapter outline. Detail each chapter and how it fits within the chosen structure. That's it. That's the whole thing. I built that. And see, I think that a lot of people could build these if they wanted to. They just have to have a reason for creating the framework. I often have discussions on forums and stuff like that about the best practices at creating fiction with AI. And I think that having a deep understanding of prompt engineering can really help you out. All right, so now that we have this straight, and it says obviously the prompt instructions, what I did was I then went over here and created and, and ran the, ran it right here, ran it and there it is. And it says certainly I'll need a specific premise, scenario or genre along with the outline structure you'd like me to use. These details are crucial to creating the 37 chapter outline that you need. Would you please provide me with these details so that we can move forward? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. It's built. Now all I have to do is provide it with a genre or a premise or a scenario and it will literally take that thing and build any outline intricately at any length. All you have to do is change the actual way it's built. You can just copy and paste this and change the number of chapters that you want. If you want 24 chapters, you can have 24 chapters. And I just wanted a way to be able to streamline this so that if people wanted to create very intricate, long sort of outlines, they could. And this way it creates a chapter type. Now let's let's go with the scenario. What scenario should we go with? So I think that maybe let's go with zombies in Barbie land. Zombies in Barbie land. Uh, let's go with save the cat. Actually, Hollywood beats because we just had Hollywood beats and see what it generates. Ah, a thrilling concoction of genres and themes. Zombies in Barbie land. Touch of Hollywood glamour, is it? Hollywood beat structure. All right. 
I'll adapt the to 37 chapters. Here we go. The Glamour and the Glitz. Introduce Barbie Land, a utopian world where everything sparkles. Introduce your protagonist, a starlet, on the cusp of fame. Ah, the first warning. A strange news report hints at something amiss. Ignored by most, but our protagonist senses something wrong. The unveiling. Oh, this is the unraveling. The shimmering dreams of nightmare. Oh, my gosh. And it broke it up into chapter chunks. Uh, and you could take these chapter chunks and you can blow those chapter chunks out. So it might have just actually done that because it was taking liberties. Because it's got, as you can see, the first two chapters spelled out. And then all of a sudden it decides it wanted to truncate everything. I don't know why I wanted to do that, but it did it. This right here, y'all, is my version of my friend Corey Osman's great, amazing prompt on how to build a beautiful, wonderful outline in seconds. My name's Ikello Herod. This is the Future Fiction Factory. If you found this interesting, then please like and subscribe. And we're gonna do an even deeper dive on this very thing. We're gonna go over at least two or three genres and we're going to figure out how best to use this new tool that we have in a, another video, in a different video, in a later video. And I hope to see you in the next video.